All right, so how can you find other successful Shopify stores to learn and get ideas from? What's going on everybody, your boy Juan Valdez coming at you guys with another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys an exact strategy that I use to find other successful Shopify stores. I know for a fact that either anyone just getting started necessarily know what a successful Shopify store looks like because when I first got started, I had no idea. You know, I pretty much put a store together. What I knew, it looked good to me, but I, obviously I didn't know what kind of things going to play to actually make a successful Shopify store, right? So at first, I know that for a fact. If I could have found other stores to kind of learn from, which I struggled to do, I obviously would have been way ahead of the game because I would have been able to know kind of what to follow, what things to do, what not to do, and a whole lot more. How can we really take our store to the next level? And we didn't know how we could do that, so we didn't know if the things we were doing wasn't weren't working or you know maybe we would do something wrong. So what we would do is we would have to see what other people were doing in their stores, right? People that were getting the same amount of traffic as we were, you know, people that were also selling similar products and a whole lot more. So you know, obviously we had to find a way that we can consistently find other people's stores so we can consistently get ideas and, you know, obviously implement what things that are working and things that aren't. So it's super important to know, obviously, there's going to be a ton of information out there where you can learn about the things that people do with Shopify dropshipping, but what things are actually working, right? That's what you guys want to know. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update for the month. Uh, nothing crazy. This month has been decent. It's been a little bit of a slower month. So we're at about, I'm at about 30K for the month and that is completely on autopilot. I'm telling you guys, I have not touched that at all. I'm literally just hopping in there, checking the numbers and that's about it. So the things that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys obviously work. So for those of you guys that are brand to my channel, welcome on over to the VFAM. The VFAM is a family of individuals that are striving to do a lot more than what society has offered us to do. If you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button. If you guys wanna see a lot more videos of you know me sharing different things that I do for my Shopify dropshipping business like finding other stores and you know things like that make sure you drop a like on this video of course if you guys have any questions or you have any other ideas for other things you want me to show you drop it in the comments below you know I'm gonna be making a lot more content from all kinds of different things that involve you know Shopify dropshipping so if you guys have anything in mind that I haven't already covered make sure you drop it in the comments below and obviously I'll make I'll try my best to pick the most common ones and make a video around that to answer any questions you guys have being able to find other successful Shopify stores is very useful specifically for anyone that's stuck right I know for a fact that getting stuck is normal you know anyone that says they've never gotten stuck it's kind of hard to believe because in a in a business where things are always consistently changing you have to always test and try new things it's kind of hard not to get stuck because obviously things are always evolving right so you have to be able to stay up to date and cutting edge one of the reasons why i believe that it's very useful to be able to find other people's stores is so that it allows you to get ideas for your store right and that's super important because again so when i first got started my shopify dropshipping business with my store i'm thinking okay Everybody's doing these email pop-ups that pop up. That's probably a great way to get emails, right? So I'm gonna implement to my business. And I'm talking about the regular email pop-up, the one that pops up and says you can get a 15% discount if you just put your email in. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I'm gonna put that into my Shopify store and obviously we're gonna start getting some emails. So two months go by, two to three months go by, okay, we've gotten a good amount of emails. But then I started doing more store research and I started seeing that other people are using this Wheelio app. And I'm like, okay, cool. Well, you know, we've gotten a good amount of emails. It hasn't anything crazy. So I try the Wheelio app and I install it in my store and boom. Literally, I'm telling you guys, we were driving a ton of traffic. Like oh, we were doing, I don't know, a few thousand dollars in sales every single day. So we're obviously getting a good amount of traffic. So we saw the instant increase in emails that we were getting literally by just switching from the basic email pop-ups that we had to a more uh, more interactive, you know, Wheelio spin uh, email pop-up. And, you know, the reason why, again, that was super useful for me is because simply by me finding out that other people were doing it in their stores and implementing that into my store, I was instantly able to increase the amount of emails I was getting. And a lot of you guys that know me that haven't followed me for a while know that I'm huge on getting emails and really making money on the back end. So you guys know that I was obviously super pumped for that because I already knew for a fact we were gonna be taking advantage of these emails. I didn't know at that time how, but obviously now I'm obviously super grateful that we did that because we were able to take advantage and collect all those emails at the time. Because if not, literally we would have been losing out on tons of emails that we 
could have collected literally by doing nothing but a simple change. You're also gonna be able to see the things that are working, right? If you take the time to, you know, go through other people's stores, you're gonna be able to see the things that they're doing, right? Like maybe there's different pop-ups that are working, right? Maybe their, the way that their upsells are set up is different. Maybe their product pages are, maybe now there's been a, a new thing where like, having something, a video in the product page automatically increases conversion. That's, that was another change that for me in my Shopify dropshipping business, like literally was a game changer. When I found out that people were using videos in the description that you could do that, I'm like, okay, cool, I'm gonna test it out. It's important to be able to always, obviously stay up to date and you know see what the competition is doing and be able to test and see if it works for you and it increases conversions, right? Because obviously who doesn't want more sales? One of the ways that you can find other successful stores is by utilizing the Facebook search bar, right? But before I get into that, uh, one of the things you guys can do is you can search specific products. If you already have products that are in your store that you, you want to find out if, you know, if people are crushing it or not, this can actually be part of your product research process. And this is actually part of my research process that my team does. This is what we train them on. So obviously if you guys haven't seen the video that I have on product research, make sure you guys check that out. It's super powerful. If you type in free plus shipping, you can find a lot of the ads that people are running. Uh, specifically for free plus shipping for drop shipping stores because you, you obviously brands and different things like that that's a little bit different that's what we're striving to be but for right now for those of you guys that are drop shipping you can find free plus shipping offers that are being written by drop shipping stores by you know typing this in obviously it's going to take some time to go through and find individual drop shipping stores but it's going to be completely worth it i promise you guys so again so an example what we can do is if i wanted to let's say let's say i'm looking up I have AliExpress open. I just happen to be in the baby section. So, because I know this was actually a hot product at the time. So, let's see if we can find any here. Type it in. And now, uh, okay. So, it looks like Threads King. That sounds kind of like a, a, a drop shipping name. Boom. This looks like a drop shipping store. Boom. This definitely drop shipping store. So, right here, literally, I already found a store you guys can use to kind of get some ideas from. Now, of course, I don't know if they're exactly crushing it just yet. What I like to do is, what for an example is I would go back, I wanna find that ad one more time. And what I wanna do is I wanna look at the ad and look at the engagement of the ad, right? So I'm gonna go back and try to find the exact same one. So let's see this post right here. So it looks like they obviously, is, they started running it around January 22nd, 2017. That's probably around the time when this product was, uh, was obviously hot at the time. But I wanna see if I can see the engagement on this ad, right? That's a good video. Now let's see if I can see the engagement on that. When was the last comment? So you can see right here. So you wanna make sure once you find these stores and these ads, you take, a t take the time to look at the ad and the engagement it has to see if it's still running, right? And the reason why you guys wanna do that is um, if the comments and the engagement are super old, that was actually my business partner, Samir, just popped up. For now, one of the things that you guys want to do is look at the engagement to see if the ad is still running because obviously if the engagement is all super old, then that ad is probably not running. So that product probably isn't like one of their hot and trending products at the time, but it was at one point. So that means that if they crushed it one product at one point, you might be able to find other products that are selling now where they might be crushing it as well. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna make sure you also take the time to find more than one store so that you can compare them uh, to kinda of get more ideas, right? So I'm only gonna use this one as an example because I don't wanna make this video too long. How you can verify the traffic that's coming to the store is by using this website called SimilarWeb, right? So if you go on SimilarWeb and you type in the name of any website, it's gonna pop up and look what's gonna, it's gonna give you all these different numbers. You're gonna get all this different data, right? And this data is huge, huge. So if you go down, you're gonna be able to see where they're getting, the, where they're driving their traffic, you know, where their traffic is coming from. So it looks like direct referrals, search, social. So they're definitely running some ads. Uh, sometimes there's some data that, you know, that won't pop up, but you can check a good amount of things like what kind of keywords, people are searching to get to the store. What we're looking for is to see how we can find the amount of daily visitors that they're getting to their store, right? So so one of the things you can do is, that was just one website. I actually, just, I had found another one recently and I'll kind of show you guys. So we'll compare it to this website called phonebb.com. So we're compared to this website, right? By the way, to find that store was literally the same thing. I typed in some products and 
uh, after it came up, I forgot for what specific product, but it popped up and so I just saved it uh, for this specific video. So I can show you guys just different options. This is completely normal when this happens. Some stores may not pop up where you can see like all the visitors that are getting and all this data, but some will. So if we go and look at uh, phone BB, right? You can see a lot of different things for phone BB specifically. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll actually just remove thread skin because we're not getting too much data for them. And in that case, what I would do is I would keep thread skin as an option to like compare and get some ideas from. Based on this, it looks like their, their total visitors to the store went down, but it looks like for the month of February, they got 53,000 visitors to their store, which is a good amount, right? Obviously, not everybody's converting, but if we use safe numbers between four and 5% of conversions from 53,000, well, let's just do the math on that. If we do 4% times 53,000, that's 2,120, right? You know, let's say the average product is like 1995, right? So we'll do 2,120 times, it could be more or less, but we'll, we'll just do average. 19.95 so they're probably doing around 40k a month you know or this specific month in february they put around 40k and again that could be lower or it could be higher but the average pricing for any single product that people are selling on their shopify stores or drop shipping stores specifically is anywhere from like minimum like 12 or 15 dollars as high as to who knows what price but minimum that's why i picked kind of the average but for sure like they could be doing more or less but more likely around this number though this is literally the process that i go through when it comes to finding these stores and you can literally do this over and over and over again right that's what i do and the reason why you want to check it with similar web is because you want to make sure that, that store is actually getting the amount of traffic enough to count them as a successful store obviously you wouldn't want to go and model and get ideas from a store that isn't is only doing like two grand a month because obviously they don't even know what they're doing so you want to make sure you take the time to do that so you find stores that are driving a ton of traffic are doing really well and a whole lot more so you can actually learn and get ideas from them so i like to act as if i'm a customer in these stores and one of the reasons as to why i like to do that is because when you act as a customer you get to get a lot of data and i'll tell you guys how so if you just browse and go through some of the products if this store is doing really well they're probably going to be running retargeting facebook ad campaigns right and what that what, what facebook ad retargeting campaigns are is simply when you view a product or you know you view a collection or whatever the case may be you get retargeted where the ad will pop up again either on instagram or facebook or google or whatever the case may be if you're doing google ad, if they're doing google ads and you'll see that same product you were looking at or a collection with also other products that are similar to the products that you were looking at. So I like to do that so I can see how they have their, you know, retargeting campaign set up. What they, if they actually have retargeting going on and a whole lot more, because again, I know that st stores that are doing really well, they're definitely retargeting. So I know for a fact that if I'm getting, I'm doing, I'm getting retargeted by the store, obviously they're doing really well because a lot of the top stores are doing that that's actually how they generate a ton of their revenue by retargeting and i also get to learn and see like how they have their retargeting campaigns set up because they've already tested them over and over again so i'm sure if they have these campaigns running and they're getting that much traffic to the store they're doing something right so it allows me to get some ideas now people that add to cart are a lot more valuable than people that just browse a store so it's going to be different ads as usually that's how it goes all the top stores they're running emails and of course i want to see how they have their email set up like what's making them you know convert on the back end so it allows me to see that and I also sign up for their newsletters because a lot of the top internet marketers, they also have email set up with different email lists for, again, uh, people that just sign up for email, for newsletters and for people that uh, also don't check out, they have abandoned cart email sequences. So I like to do that. Again, that's pretty much everything I have for you guys. I hope you guys got value from this video. If you did, make sure you drop a like. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know what are the kind of content you guys would want to see around um, finding other people's stores or just any other topic that I haven't already covered for you guys in general that you still have questions about. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you join the VFAM, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.